Todd Sadowski, let the PIAA basketball games begin. A wild and unpredictable couple of weeks ahead. 384 teams in 12 classifications. 372 will be eliminated in the final steps to capture state gold. We check in with Lampeter Strasburg, undefeated District 5A boys champs, and they're down double digits to start the fourth at home. The problem is their opponent, Penn Hills from Pittsburgh, plays at a different elevation over the top of the Pioneers on this jam. The visitors up 15 with four minutes to go. Sophomore Ty Burton works hard for buckets in this one. Nice double pump on the layup. The game is in hand for Penn Hills at this point. Unforgettable year for LS ends in the first round, 62-39. It's all about the matchups in state. Stay with 5A and Hershey starts fast against Shaler. Out of the gates with a little give and go from Zach Miller to Drew Coleman who gets the layup to go. The Titans respond on their end as Caton Orga hits Logan Burnesser for the nice alley-oop off the backboard and in. The Trojans are explosive on offense in this game. The big man Miller, another dime to Marcus Sweeney for the layup. Hershey advances. 71-45. Let's go Raiders! Middletown hosts Scranton Prep in the 4A first round to kick it off for the Blue Raiders. Tate Leach steals the ball, passes to the senior, and Old Dominion commit for football. Tajay Brody, he's good for two, and there's a break in the action because Brody scores his 1,000th point with that first bucket for the Blue Raiders. He then strikes again baseline. Middletown down by 12. A rally comes up just short. And they're out in the first round, 53-50. On the girls' side, the District 3 6A champs, Central Dolphin at home against Upper Dublin. Off the opening tip, it's Megan Cavoli. Splashes home the tray for the Rams. Then CD again. This time they go inside to Liberty commit Caroline Sheary, who gets the turnaround to go. And then it's Cavoli. She feels the home cooking and connects. One more time, the Rams roll 47 23. Now for the 2A champs, Linden Hall hosting Belmont Charter at Mannheim Township. Naja Velasavlev finishes after the line steal it away. They're up over 20 in the second quarter. And after a Belmont timeout, the ball goes to Hayden Augustine Laurent. She hits for two, and her friends, well, they simply can't contain themselves. Plenty to cheer about for the Lions. They cruise into the round of 16, 65 31.